Now I wanna know how many gaming headsets have y'all gone through during the years you've spent gaming? Now if you're anything like me, you try to hold on to these headsets as long as you possibly can. And you know, for something that doesn't see too much action outside of being fixed on your head, these things tend to receive quite the beating. And I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten frustrated more than one time doing Warzone. But the question is, what are some durable high-end gaming headset options for you that'll likely withstand any kind of thrashing, be it verbally in gaming lobbies or the physical touch? Durability is important, yes, but so is sound quality and performance. Well, today we're looking at gaming headsets for Xbox. And while the official Xbox wireless gaming headset is a solid overall build from Microsoft, we figured we'd take a look at some of the third-party gaming headsets on the market worth your time and investment, no matter your budget. The SteelSeries Arctis 1, the Arctis 7X, and the Odyssey Penrose X. We'll cover the design and features of each as well as performance. So turn the sound all the way up IGN's Budget the Best starts right now. Let's start things off with the SteelSeries Arctis 1. Now the SteelSeries Arctis 1 sits at the lower end of the affordability scale at about $50. But despite the smaller price tag, you can still enjoy the benefits of the very same 40 millimeter drivers found in many higher end models. You have a detachable mic on headset controls and since it connects via 3.5 millimeter jack, it works with PlayStation, Switch and PC in addition to Xbox. Now the ear cups are very comfortable on the head. Ah, so comfortable. So you don't have to worry about constantly readjusting them during long gameplays. Now with the Arctis 1, you'll be getting the same wide range sound found in the Arctis 7X at a fraction of the cost. Now sound quality is decent with these with accurate bass, mid and treble performance. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest with y'all, I've personally experienced better, but for a wired pair of headsets, the Arctis 1 is great. And honestly, that's the only real drawback, the fact that they're wired. Now that's the trade-off for coming in at such an affordable price point. Plus, if you like the Arctis One, the fit, the sound quality, the look, well, you can eventually upgrade to the wireless Arctis One at an extra $50. Now, from one Arctis to another also from SteelSeries is the Arctis 7X at $149.99, $150. Now, we recommended these last year in our wireless gaming headset video, and they still hold up today. Now, you got the retractable mic, 40-foot wireless range, a battery life of up to 24 hours, and your side tone controls on the side. Now they also come with everything you need regarding connectivity. A USB-C cable, a micro USB charging cable, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, and a USB-C wireless dongle. Now you've got superb spatial surround sound with the audio coming in clean and crisp. The onboard mic, however, isn't the best, but you know what? It gets the job done if you're just looking for party chat. The 7X also uses ClearCast for noise canceling for the mic, the same thing used by aircraft carrier deck crews. So if that's your profession, well, you'll feel right at home while using these during a gameplay session of Flight Simulator. Overall, it's a solid high-end wireless choice at a mid-range price. Last but certainly not least, we've got the Odyssey Penrose X. Now this $300 cool, sleek gaming headset is probably the most sturdy of the bunch, locking in sound with its contoured memory foam. Now they fit a lot tighter than the others, but because of it, you don't have to worry about them slipping off during gameplay. Now on the left cup, you'll find all the buttons you need. The microphone and USB-C charge ports, multiple volume control wheels, the power button, a microphone mute switch, a multi-function button that changes the Penrose's connection type, and a standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack for wired gaming, of course, which is a nice option to have when you're unable to connect wirelessly for whatever reason. Now, connectivity is easy with the Penrose X. All you need to do is plug in this USB into your PC or Xbox console to get things going. Now, you can connect via Bluetooth as well. Now, unlike the other wireless gaming headset, the Arctis 7X, these will only last you 15 hours on a single charge. Now, let's talk about performance. That's really important. The unique thing about the Penrose X is that it supports any spatial audio system, meaning there's no need to adjust audio rendering settings. Now, it's pretty much plug and play. And once connected to your Series X, you won't need to mess around with your preferred virtual sound settings. You have the ability to change and control chat and game volumes independently. 
Now the mic, let's talk about the mic guys. Oh boy, this mic right here. Now on the box, it says this is a broadcast quality mic and I can confirm it is indeed. Now what does that mean you might be asking yourselves? Well, that means the audio quality on this is clean, clear, and crisp. Now those are the three C's of quality control you'd want in an onboard mic. The broadcast quality mics are something that most streamers and content creators prefer as it provides you with a wide frequency response, allowing your vocal range to really stand out. Now that's why a lot of streamers have a separate mic like the Shure SM7B. I got one, it's right back there, y'all see it. Now we're not saying that this is similar to the SM7B, but for a gaming headset mic, it's one of the best I've ever used. Now out of the three, this one is by far the very best, providing you with clear vocal quality no matter the positioning of the mic. For $300, you're getting high quality sound performance as well as vocal performance with the Penrose X. So which gaming headset is for you? Now obviously, if you're on a budget but still want the very best sound quality you can get, then you can't go wrong with the SteelSeries Arctis 1. Now SteelSeries also has a lot packed into the 7X, which is a great mid-tier choice. But if you're looking for a one-two punch in both high quality sound and mic performance, then the Penrose X by Odyssey is a clear and sound winner at a premium price. But of course, there's always the first party Xbox wireless headset right here, which is a solid option. Now, ultimately, you can't go wrong with any of these gaming headsets. But you know what? I'm curious to know, what do y'all think about these? Which one fits your Xbox gaming headset needs? Sound off in the comment section down below. Tell us what you're rocking right now. And for more on what's best for your budget, keep watching IGN's Budget to Best. We'll see you next time.